Hello, welcome to Autobot YouTube channel. Myself Rahul Nikesh. Uh, today we are going to learn more about robot framework. So in the last video we have learned what is robot framework, how to do the installation of robot framework, and how to install the PyCharm and how to do the initial setup of the uh, automation field. Right. So today we are going to learn much more uh, more about a robot framework and a few of the easy methods for doing the uh, robot framework uh, scripting okay so i'm not sure whether this kind of uh, <coughs> easy methods whether others has uh, described in their videos okay so uh, today we are going to learn uh, about few of the automation tools or the or, or the record and play tools that can help you to record uh, the automation and to convert that to robot framework okay so this video will help you to minimize your effort and to make automations in much uh, faster manner okay so uh, this automation project we already created in the last uh, video okay so today uh, let me go to uh, chrome okay so this is my chrome and let me go to extension and let me open up this catalog recorder okay so i already did one video uh, regarding catalog recorder as well as the selenium ide so those who haven't watched those videos please go to the playlist and watch these two videos catalog recorder and selenium id these two tools are record and play automation tool that will help to record the actions and it will help to play back the actions right so it will help to minimize a lot of uh, effort that you are uh, spending to find the elements and to write down the script right and another one important benefit with this uh, ideas are you can directly record the uh, actions and you can convert that to different programming languages right like even to a uh, robot framework or if you want to convert that to cypress or if you want to convert that to a uh, test engine framework or uh, to any other uh, framework you can convert that right so that is the benefit of a catalog recorder as well as a selene id so let me open up this uh, catalog recorder and i will show you how it can minimize the effort that you are uh, putting in creating your uh, robot framework or test cases right so let me go to test suite. so i already uh, did a detailed video regarding this catalog uh, code so i'm not going deep dive into uh, most of the features okay <laughs> so i will show you how you can create a test case and how you can convert that to a uh, robot framework so let me create a test suite. okay so let me name it like a test suite click on okay okay so now i have a, a test suite right so let me click on this and create a new test case robot uh, demo one okay click on okay then here you can see the record button right so just click on that okay so i am going to use this particular uh, 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 chrome for doing the automation okay so what i am going to do is let me search for google okay google.com and here you can see Catalan Recorder is recording the actions that we are performing, right? So uh, let me search for Cat GPT or let me search for Robot Framework, okay? Then I'm going to click on Enter, okay? Then I'm going to click on the first link, okay? So just consider this is my test case, okay? So I'm just going to stop this uh, recording. So here you can see uh the catalan recorder has uh, uh recorded all the action that i performed in the chrome right so here you can see it has opened the uh, www.google.com then it typed the uh, uh value that uh, uh, robot framework then it uh <coughs> do the enter action in the keyboard then it clicked on the uh, first link right so all this action it has a perform Right, and it has opened this particular robot framework dot uh, dot org. So this is currently in the format of Catalan record, right? So just me try. Let me try to uh, uh, play this at test case. Okay, so you can see it has opened uh, Google dot com. It search for robot framework. It uh, click on enter. Then it is going to click on the first link, right? Okay, so here you can see it clicked on the first link and it opened the robot framework data uh, or zip portal, right? And uh, the test case is uh, completed, right? So this is how uh, this tool is useful. So if you want to continue with this tool, you can create different test cases and uh, you can uh, play the test suite or you can play 
the test cases or if you have different uh, SUs, that also you can execute, right? So that is the benefit of catalog. <coughs> but here in today's uh, video, I'm going to show you how this particular um, automation flow uh, or the test case can be converted to your robot frame, right? So already we have recorded few of the steps, right? So how you can convert that to a different framework. So what you have to do is just go to export click on export okay so at the bottom you will be able to find uh, select a framework right so currently it is in uh, catalan studio framework uh, model so if you want to open up a different model you can choose it from the drop down right so here i am going to choose robot framework right so let me click on robot framework or if you want to go with any other framework you can choose it okay like python 2 web driver plus unit test or java framework and all or, or protract reserve or nod is there or uh, if you want to go with a pipeter that is also the so all these things are available right so, but uh, here i'm going to choose robot framework okay let me choose the uh, test case okay so here you can see it's uh, the format is in uh, robot framework now, right so what are the action that it has recorded okay so let me scroll up so here you can see it has set up the settings first right and it uh, downloaded the libraries uh, selenium library then it created two variables okay one for chrome and one for the uh, speed right that is a 0, 0.0 second and here you can see it has started the test cases right so uh, what it has done robot framework testing data selenium that is the test case name and um, it opened the uh, chrome and uh, here you can see uh, it has typed robot framework and uh, it clicked on the uh, enter button send key using the send key method and it clicked on this particular uh, X path right and uh, here you can see uh, it is opening up the uh, robot framework.org right so this is how you can convert your automation to a uh, different test case so what you can do is you can export here and you can create a new test case but what I am going to do is let me copy this, right? Let me copy this, and at the bottom you can see different uh, keyword that it has written, right? So keyword open, and what it is happening? Go to that particular uh, element and uh, click and wait. So what it is doing? It is clicking on the particular uh, element, right? Like that, uh, different activities uh, you can see here. So send keys is performing here, right? Send keys. So this send keys is button, nothing but it's a keyword. Uh, inside that what is happening it is pressing the key uh, that we are passing here right okay so this is how it is uh, working and here you can see different uh, um, other keywords as well so you can use these activities uh, in your automation so what i'm going to do is let me i already copied it or if you want to export that that is also possible so if you want to export just click on export and uh, the file will get downloaded okay so now what you can do is just click on this okay and uh, sit let me extract it okay test you and uh, here you can see it has created a robot file right so let me go to properties so here you can see it has created a robot file so what i'm going to do is or either you can copy from here okay and let me create a new file here okay so let me create a new file i'm going to name it like a sks2.robo okay and i'm going to paste that entire code here just save it All right and uh, let me try to execute to see whether it is working or not okay so I'm going to use this uh, uh, command python hyphen m robot dot robot dot means it will execute all the robot files inside the project, right so it is executing test case one dot robot so in that particular test case it, it will just open up google that's it okay so that particular test case is completed so it has started the second test case it opened google the intersection for a robot framework okay it, and it will click on the first link right Okay, and click on the first uh, link. Okay, 
so uh so from this what you are getting so it is very easy right you can directly record the actions and uh, you can directly export or you can copy that uh, robot code and you can paste it in your uh, id to create your automation suite right so here you can see two test we executed and two passed right so it is very easy to create uh, this robot uh, scripts using uh, this catalon recorder or if you are going with the selenium recorder as well right and uh, another important thing is like uh, let me close this okay here just consider if you want to change the selector right so whatever the selector currently existing it will be using the particular selector uh, while exporting the code as well right but just consider if you want to change the selector to something different like it to uh, export just select that particular export uh, different selector <coughs> okay so i'm going to choose uh, that particular selector even for click also i'm going to choose something different okay then go to export okay robot demo so i'm going to choose robot framework okay so here you can see it has changed the uh, values right so earlier it was name uh, but now it has changed to export identifier right so this is how you can uh, modify your uh, script to make it a uh, more stable okay so how catalon work is it is having a self healing feature okay it means like it will capture all the possible uh, selectors okay and if one got failed means it will try with the second option and it will try to uh, make that uh, action uh, working okay if none of the selectors are not working then only that particular step will get failed and thus this case will get failed okay so in order to make our automation script more reliable what you have to do is you have to choose the proper selector okay so that's it now uh, we have created a uh, test case and another important thing that we need to keep in mind is here you can see there are a few keywords right or a few tags right like settings is there so the format is star 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 then you have to give settings then again ending with the three stars right so what is the purpose of uh, these settings the settings is for adding up the dependency library right or if you want to call up any other um, particular test case or keyword anything th those kind of settings you have to provide inside uh, this settings tag okay so that is the purpose of uh, settings then another thing is variable right so variable is nothing but like whatever the reusable values that you need to keep in your automation you can you can keep it inside the variable tag right so here the uh, the uh, browser that we are going to use is chrome so instead of hard coding this value here what we uh, what the script has done uh, we have created a variable uh, that is starting with dollar and starting with a, a curly brace okay inside that we created a variable and we assign the values chrome right and inside our test case we are passing that variable right so just consider in future if you want to change this form to different browser you don't need to uh, change that value somewhere here in the test case right you can directly modify here okay and if you want to set the selenium speed means you can directly modify the selenium speed over here and that particular value will get called inside the test case right so uh, that's how uh, variables are working so it will help to uh, increase the uh, reusability as well as the maintainability of the code that you are writing okay then uh, another tag is star 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 test cases and ending with a three star okay so what is the purpose of a test case so test case tag is nothing but like if you are executing a robot dot uh, uh sorry test case dot robot file it is trying to identify this particular tag and it will call the test cases okay so whatever the action that you want to perform uh inside uh, as part of your test team, you have you can create a test case name okay this is the test case name and inside that you can create the steps for the execution okay and here one important thing that you need to keep in mind is you don't need to <clears throat> write down each lines uh, here right so just consider we have send keys so send keys is a method so where we have written that method it is inside the keyword tag right so inside the keyword tag uh, we have created a new method called send keys and inside that we have provided the command like a uh, press key and we are passing that element and we are providing the value uh, or the uh, keyboard uh, value right so this is how we have we can write a keyword and we can use that in the test case right so it will help to increase the readability of the script and the maintainability of the code right so that is the benefit of this
and here another thing is like i'm not sure whether you have uh, understand the one uh, negative thing regarding this automation scheme so here you can see all these elements like export everything is hard coded here right so everything is hard coded here instead of getting it directly from the variable so we can move all these things to the variable instead of uh, providing it here right like uh, the click activity currently it is hard coded here instead of that you can pass this to a variable and that variable you can pass it over here right so uh, that is the benefit of uh, using selenium or uh, uh, catalan recorder to record your automation script and to convert that to any other programming uh, languages or to any other framework okay or just consider if you want to uh, move this particular value to a variable means just cut it okay i'm going to create a new variable here so it should start with dollar bracket okay so what is this value uh, okay so i'm going to give it like a first url okay close in the bracket click on tab i'm going to pass the value okay then use this particular variable name here all right okay just to save it now try to execute the script again okay so the first test case execution is completed so it is opening up the second test case it is going to search the robot framework keyword okay it enter then it should click on this uh, first link right okay and click on the first uh, link right so uh, so currently what we did we directly moved this particular x path to the variable section and uh, we called it inside uh, the test case right so this is how you can uh, use or reuse the particular uh, x, uh, x path or the selectors okay or uh, another option is just consider if you want to use this uh, element in different different test cases right so instead of declaring it inside each test case what you can do is you can create a um, uh, element dot robot file so where you can keep all your uh, reusable values like maybe url or maybe the variable value you can assign it same like this uh, inside of the tag variable okay and you can call that particular uh, file inside this settings file okay as a resource you can call inside this particular uh, settings then what will happen is like whenever if you are going to execute a test case it will call the particular file and it will initialize all the values inside that particular uh, element dot uh, robot file right what are the elements that you are declaring or selectors that you are declaring it will get initialized and the same value you can use it inside your test case you don't need to declare like this right so that's how you can um, reuse the selectors uh, inside the different test cases and it will help to increase the or it will help to minimize the time taken for writing the test case okay uh, i hope uh, this is a uh, important and very interesting topic and it will help to uh, reduce a lot of uh, time in creating your automation test case right so if you find this video useful please like the video please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel so thanks for watching the video bye